in the last five years, marriage has decreased from 51% to 45%. Then I read another statistical number that this particular LGB is not going to cut it off. I'm not going to keep going down the whole thing. But this particular group of people that have deemed themselves to be in this specific lifestyle has risen from 3.5% in 2012 to now make up 10% of the population. Did you just hear what I just said? And we're talking about within what? Almost 11 year period. Yes. Then it went from 3.5% to 10%. Yes, my God. And we ain't talking about it in a long period of time. Oh, so this is why it matters. Because anytime you see something on a rise like this, and also even fornication is on a rise. Marriage has went down to 45% of United, the, the citizens of, of United States of America. 45% of them married. Amen. And, but also the uh, heterosexuals with fornication has risen almost by 55%. Oh, God. Mm. So even though you got people that's practicing in a certain lifestyle makes up 10% of the population, you still got 90% of the population, but you have a decline on marriage and you have an incline on fornication. Mm -hmm. So it shows you that we're not heading there. We are there. We're there. We're, we're, you know, people say, oh, we're, 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 we're on a more free fall. We ain't on a more. We, we there on a free fall. We just, it's, we just in certain places of the fall. We, we ain't leading there. We ain't getting there. We are there. Yeah. It's just like a roller coaster. Let me give you an example. I don't know why God gave me all these examples. I'm give you that. Roller coaster. I don't. I can't do roller coaster like I used to. I'm getting old. Can't do it like I used to. I ain't, I ain't old as you, but I'm getting old, and I know my limitation. People say you young, all you want. You just a baby. No, I'm getting old. You say what you want. I'm getting old. When you get old. You keep living. You get old. Amen. You get on a roller coaster. I never forget going to uh, Bush Gardens. You get on the coupe, but this, you know, you know how it's going up. It's ching, 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 and you look at it, and people you can't hardly see them no more. They like little ants. The cars look like little micro machine. Remember micro machine back then? They look itty bitty car. They start getting real, real small. It's okay now. This is this. This is we high enough. And then ching, 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 and now you tell yourself, you know, you shouldn't have got on, but you're on it anyway. And chink, 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 because you know the chain is pulling you up, you're going up, you're going, you know, all of a sudden the parking lot looks small, your finger looks bigger than the parking lot. And you just chink, 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 and then it stops. Yes. And you're like, oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> you know you shouldn't be on it. But because you don't want to stand out, you don't want to look like the party pooper, you don't want to look like, you don't want nobody to talk about you. It's amazing what we would do, but that's not good. But it's amazing what we would do to please people at, at the risk of costing our own lives. And you up there, you praying, and all of a sudden it just drops. And by the time it drops, your whole your body drop. Some people have just went to the bathroom on themselves because it's just too much. It's too much. But the but the drop the drop ain't what gets you. It's all and they keep and you, you Jesus just let me get off. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden now they be like, you wanna you, you wanna get on the other? No, I think we need to go eat. You know, you start making up stuff. You know, I, I you know we passed we we passed the popcorn and you know what? I I I'm a, I take y'all go ahead. I'm gonna go back and um, I'm, I'm gonna get some popcorn. You want some popcorn? You you so willing to not get on the ride? You willing to buy somebody a ten dollar bucket of popcorn? You really don't want to buy a bucket, but hey, I will spend ten dollars to get back on one of them. So that will be my excuse. And then you go evaluate something else that you feel like that you could do, so you don't want them to know. What you really doing? So you go back with another ride and you say, hey, we need to get on that right now. We, yeah, yeah, let's get on. And you get on that so they can take their mind off the other, other five rides you didn't get on. Mm -hmm. And that's what 
we do. And that's what they was doing. It was one thing, roller coaster, after another roller coaster in Ezekiel. They just kept declining and declining and declining. And you would have thought once they hit one deal, you would have thought that would have been it. No. The priests, they wasn't right. The government wasn't right. Then the Bible said it was taking bribes. And you say, okay, how many turns we gonna take on this thing before we turn, before it stop? And apparently in Ezekiel chapter 22, it didn't stop. It went from one phase to men laying with women. To, they, they went as far as not just laying with the women. They, they went with, with the in-law. Daughter-in-law. Yeah. Then, then, then if that wasn't pleasant enough for, for their wicked soul, they were living with the women on their cycle. Yes. And if that didn't do it enough, then they were, they were conjure up bribes to have innocent were killed. Yes. And if that didn't satisfy them, no. they'll do other things. You read it in the text. Absolutely. And then the Bible say, in Romans chapter 1, 24, the Bible say, and he gave them over. Yes. That's a judicial term. That means to hand over Ooh. to a deprived mind. And some Bible say a useless mind, a worthless mind. Amen. And, or in, in the biblical time, when it was building a pyramid and they had a block and they couldn't use it because it had some flaws in it. They were writing what you call an A on it. And so they would know that this brick was unusable. Or what we call an idocomous mind. A useless mind. A worthless mind. Yes. They got to a point where God, God said, I will hand them over to their judgment. I turn them over to themselves. You never want to get to a place where you see it to the point where there's no sign of conviction. Oh. That's a sign of reprobateness. And the Bible said, I will turn them over to a reprobate mind. That's why you got some people, no matter how much you have talked to them, no matter how much you have prayed for them, they have gotten to a place with God that they are in a reprobated state. People are afraid to say, but I got to see it. It's the truth. Like, come on, somebody. We can't just be trial on something. We can't just be panicking and pacifying the situation. And I, I mean, sooner or later, yes, if, if they give their heart to God, but if they're not careful, they're still running the chance of dying in the state that they are in. Yes. Yes, salvation is for everybody. But you still, you still have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and say, you still have to allow him to come in your heart. And you can't say, well, I pray sometime and you live your whole week as a high rank son and tell me, you got the degrees of God to call yourself a Christian. You're not a Christian. Christian have a definition of behind it. Come on, somebody. Being a Christian is not a synonym for holiness, but not a synonym for being sinful. Being a Christian means to be Christ-like. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Not to be like Satan, like Christ. Amen. Paul said, follow me as I follow who? Christ. Even though Paul was, was, was the instrument that God was using to the Gentile, because the Bible said he appointed him as an apostle to the Gentile, but Paul said, follow me. In other words, even though I am your human instrument, I am your human example, but follow me as, as I follow Christ. Amen. So no matter what exploits I've done or do, no matter how much power it may look like that I possess, I'm following somebody. Yes, Lord, it's a good thing to, to be a man accountable to me as a pastor. That's great. That's what you should do. That's biblical. But at the same time, make sure you follow following Christ too. Yes. Don't, don't follow me. Follow Christ. I'm, cause I'm, let me tell you who I'm following. I'm following Christ. Yes. Amen, somebody. When a person or a society, when a person, give me about 10 more minutes, when a person or a society no longer, no longer thinks properly about God and about what's right and wrong, the, the, the result is evil, but only people committing immoral and evil acts, but people who approve of them as well. Yes. And it has permeated our culture from the top to the bottom. Yes. It has infiltrated our schools. Yes, 
It has impacted our jobs. It has impacted our society. Now, amen, we want to clap when we see certain things happen in our society concerning an immoral free fall. We want to give license to it. So now we got to have more TV shows infiltrated in it. Amen. So, and now we want to make this the new norm. It will never be known yes. for me. Second guessing what you you following. 